The British retaliation after our last attack was absolutely pitiful. One pattern of depth charges was laid down against us and we were able to slip out of the area unmolested. It is now 6 in the morning and the sun is just starting to rise over the horizon. Maneuvering into a suitable attack position will be more difficult with this light. I am determined, however, to make an attack run though, especially on that damaged freighter. I have also been thinking about reloading one of the external torpedoes. It's just very risky, but I think it might be worth it. Hello everybody, Wolfback345 here, and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 3. We are currently, uh, well, kind of tracking this convoy in the early hours of the morning. And where exactly did they go? 082 degrees. Yep, there they are. They're way out there, though. Uh, I don't think we are going to be detected yet. There is the little destroyer there as well. We need to keep our eyes on that, especially since I, against my better judgment, uh, I went ahead and decided I'm going to risk it. And I'm going Chef, to reload an external torpedo really quickly. It's only going to take 40 minutes to do so. so. Chef gesichtet! Uh, hopefully this was not a mistake. This is not what I would really want to do, but I would really like to have a third torpedo here. At the very least. So I'm going to go ahead and reload that bad boy. Hopefully no airplane swoops down. I'm not really worried about these guys detecting me. I'm just going to linger behind them and stalk them. Uh, until, well, later, where I can get into a fairly good firing position. So that's the current plan of attack. And yeah, as you can see, we are s limited to um, one-third speed, so five knots. They are definitely going to be overrunning us at this point. And uh, we can't submerge, so that is going to be an issue. But we're going to try to do this extremely quickly and then continue to press the attack against this convoy. Uh, we also got a contact of just a warship heading this way, which is interesting. But I think I'm going to stick to... Uh, the convoy and uh, keep harassing it. I do have a wounded ship in here. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Uh. Shit. My god, this was such a fucking mistake. Okay, so they should be tying down the torpedoes now. Yeah, they're, we, we should be able to dive momentarily. We have to fight it out now, though. Oh god, this is not going to be good. Shit. Feuer frei! Jawohl, Feuer frei! Auf geht's! Okay, they only shot us up. Why is this chump? This guy's not shooting. Okay, y'all need to start repairing that. That could have been way worse. Now I'm worried about the destroyers closing in. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Alright, let's go ahead and turn away. Don't know if that destroyer is going to continue to pursue. We'll find out. It shouldn't take them too long to tie down the torpedo. It's just... God, man, that was such a bad move. <laughs> Definitely learned my lesson doing that. I thought we'd be remotely safe out here, but obviously not. That was just bad timing. And here they come back around again. Alright, let's open fire. Come on, get one of them. Oh god. Ooh. God. Oh my god. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We'll be fine. They dropped their bombs, thankfully, and they missed. 
The destroyer is still piddle paddling around there. God, we are taking one hell of a beating now. Coming back around. Yeah, just keep laying down the fire, I guess. The situation is pretty well under control, you know. Uh, this could have been a lot worse. I will say that. That bomb could have hit, we would have been done. Oh my god, that was such a bad idea. Why did I even do that? Like, oh, hurt dirt, we're safe. Flooding's under control. Should be able to die very soon. I'm just gonna keep checking this just to be sure everything is a okay. Can we dive in yet? No, nope. still can't. Oh, it looks like those planes might be buggering off now. Yeah, they're going away. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I am worried about our hull integrity now, though. Alright, we'll go ahead and just start repairing everything. That was pretty minimal. That could have been way worse than it actually was. The destroyer is, does not seem to be interested at all in what is going on over here, which is uh, very nice of him. Thank you, Mr. Destroyer Man. I really appreciate that. Still, however, we cannot dive. Well, it looks like we, uh, okay, we're going down now. They secured the torpedoes. Oh, jeez, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so dumbfounded. And that's exactly why you don't do that, uh, for the record. We're gonna fix this. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and repair. Uh, I am not going to reload an external torpedo, and we're going ahead and re-engage the convoy. And hopefully something insane like that doesn't happen again. Golly. That was terrible. That was such a bad gamble. Uh, yeah, not worth it. Definitely not worth it. So I'm gonna repair underwater and we'll maneuver into a better position here momentarily. We have another aircraft spotted. We're gonna crash dive immediately. Go ahead and get under very quickly. It is, I guess I'll go ahead and do my little update now. Hopefully we get under just in time to avoid this aircraft. Our filthy slow dive times, but you know. Uh, this, this flower class Corvette has been making things very interesting for me. Uh, he keeps doing his little sweeps and driving me off, and I have to, uh, you know, sail away and then re you know, go back on another intercept course. Uh, it's very time consuming. It's already almost noon, <laughs> if you can believe that. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, time is flying by here. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and go down to 40 meters. That should be a safe enough depth to avoid the aircraft. And we'll go ahead and slow down now. I'm currently finishing up repairing the last of the damage. Just our propellers are a little messed up. Let's go ahead and get a man on sonar. Uh, and I'm also really paying attention. I'm trying to rotate my men in and out a little more because everyone's starting to get exhausted, really. Uh, it has been a stressful night, definitely, for my men. Um, uh, but that's about it. Yeah, it's just that, that one little rinky-dink flower-class Corvette that is just making it so bloody difficult. So, uh, yep, that is, uh, that's the update now. I'll probably end up actually engaging these guys in the evening. We'll see, though. Uh, it's been quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, that plane uh, didn't even drop up charges or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and continue to track the convoy to make our last attack. And I'm thinking after our attack, we'll go south. And uh, oh no, T please tell me that the shore is not coming for us. Oh god, it sure is. 
We'll see. He's been doing this and then going back. Okay, yeah, he's gonna go back to his convoy. All right, perfect. All right, well, I'll continue this and, uh, okay, we fixed our port propeller. Okay, so I'll keep on doing this and get into a hopefully decent firing position without getting bombarded again. Honestly, I, the beginning of this episode where I decided to reload that torpedo, I have no idea why the fuck I decided to do that. I'm honestly mad at myself. I'm sure I'm gonna get some pretty, uh, pretty good comments about that decision. But uh, I really just wanted to do another number on this convoy, but it's not going to be possible. I got greedy and I paid the price for it. Uh, and that's that's part of this game. You just have to be patient. That's why I'm just kind of lurking out here. I'm okay. All right, and our starboard propeller is repaired. What else do we have? What else is in this compartment? Looks like everything's fine. I don't know what they're still repairing, but anyway. All right, I'll go ahead and cut here and get back to you guys soon. Okay, another quick update on uh, what's currently going on. As you can see, the sun is starting to set. We are still pursuing the convoy. They currently zagged up and uh, changed course to a heading of about 290. So, yeah, they, this convoy is really uh, enjoying changing courses. <laughs> it does make things a little difficult, but with night approaching, I won't have to maintain such a far distance, and I'll be able to close in a little easier and get off a good shot. So, uh, it's a good thing we uh, have been stalking them till nightfall. So, we will commence our attack tonight. I, I might try to reload those externals now now that it's night and uh hopefully no planes are flying i just god that's the concept of that is so scary to me but i'm gonna wait till it is we're most definitely safe to do that okay and i think that is about all i have to say i man it's crazy how long we've been tracking them fuel's still okay we're just at about 80 percent everyone's all kind of rested up and feeling a little better we'll actually get our watch officer up there now Yep, everyone's all rested up now, which is very good. Uh, the boat is in tip-top shape, and uh, this attack, well, should be uh, something pretty special. We'll see. I am I think I will try to reload these externals, though, in the middle of the night. And hopefully a uh, Catalina or something doesn't fly over us with a Lee light and ruin my freaking night. Uh, that would be very, very nice. So, anyway, we're going to continue to track them as they zig and zag. I Chief suspect... <laughs> I suspect they'll make another turn very shortly. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and crash dive to avoid that airplane. Yeah, good thing I didn't start uh, doing those externals now. I'll probably wait till pitch black really to do that just so uh, maximize our safety net I guess all right well with all that out of the way I'll continue to track the convoy and hopefully we'll get into a position tonight I highly suspect we will um, and if not we might end up just letting these guys go but I think we will probably engage them somewhere up here in CG 86 something like that so that is the current plan of attack and I'll go ahead and cut now and get back to you guys soon. okay so I was laying over here kind of I actually reloaded two externals while one has 20 seconds left so we're in the clear now and the convoy has changed course right for us they're coming right into our laps this is going to be great so I have four torpedoes well soon to be in uh, seven seconds we'll go ahead and load that bad boy up and we'll have a full salvo ready to go here uh, and we could probably take out the two heavy cargoes that are uh, just hanging out this way. So let's go ahead and see what conditions are like. We can go ahead and start going a reasonable speed now. All ahead standard. Alright. Well, at least we finally got those torpedoes loaded up. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close here. It is very dark, so we do have that on our side. Let's see, where are the destroyers? So there's the two cargo ships. Those are definitely my targets, those 9,000 ton cargos. And then it looks like that's the frigate in the lead way out there. Um, I'll probably shoot two and two, even though one of them is already damaged. It might be a little unnecessary to do that, but... 
think I'm going to go ahead and do that just to uh, ensure their destruction. So let's go ahead and begin timing now. And they might be still turning a little bit. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> All right. And we'll go ahead and begin timing now. There we go. All right, now the clock starts. Perfect. And the destroyer is turning straight for us. That's not a good sign. Schiff gesichtet. Maybe he's just uh, doing a little Schiff zigzag gesichtet. pattern. I see no indication that he actually knows we're here. Unless he has... Okay, yeah, he's turning back. Perfect. Schiff gesichtet. Submarine spotted. It's a T-class subway in the back over here. Um, so it looks like the British have learned their lesson. They've stuck a escort here, but this escort is the one that's been peeling off occasionally and uh, going and looking for subs way out here. So hopefully we can sneak in right as he does that and then strike. That would be ideal, of course. And it looks like the uh, lead escort is kind of turning back to get into his position. I suspect they're going around eight knots. That's what they were going out the last time I kind of timed them out here, but we'll find out. Oh, this is going to be fairly good, I think. I have high expectations for this attack. Alright. We'll see. Seven knots. Okay. Sounds good. They are chain they are zigzagging quite frequently. So hopefully they don't zag away right as I get into a nice firing position. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and submerge now. So yeah, periscope depth, yeah, please. I'll see you again. All right, let's go ahead and get under. And we'll just keep tabs on them through our periscope. And rig for silent. We'll just close in nice and slow. We'll probably make a fairly long range shot here just to avoid mostly the destroyers. It looks like they've really tightened up security on the side of the convoy, which is uh, smart on their part. Makes things a tad more difficult for us, though, however. And we'll maintain this three knot speed. That should put us in sufficiently close. I might even accelerate once we're in this fellow's baffles here. But we'll close in nice and well. Alright. Okay. Okay, this is going to be glorious. They're going to be at about, oh, they're going to be close too. It's going to be about 2,000 meters. Where are you? There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. So we already know what you are. This is the one we hit previously. And then this guy's going to be our secondary target. I'll probably shoot the... Hmm, I'll shoot the electrics at this one. Then I'll shoot my steam torpedoes at this one here. Alright, so let's go ahead and start plugging stuff in. Speed is still seven knots. That's what it was at our last attack. Let's see what we got. So tubes one and four are gonna go at this guy. Salvo, my bad. There we go, tubes one and four. AOB at the moment, uh, pretty rough, about 60 degrees. Set, and we'll just set range to two kilometers. And I'll go ahead and use the statimeter here to get a better Estimate 2,300 meters sounds good Sounds about right and we will use impact pistols this time and set depth for The draft on these guys is pretty deep. So we'll set depth for seven meters Same for here seven meters impact pistols We'll do a two degree or 1.5 degree spread and these guys will be going fast. Perfect. Looks like those are all set up appropriately. 
And now we just lay in wait here. Oh, uh, these guys are... We're probably going to get in nice and close here. Okay, we can probably start... Uh, no, actually, let's keep closing. The closer we are, most likely the better. Alright. Let's see here. It's probably time to shoot at our first target. So we will go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get one last range reading using the statometer. AOB. Right under night. Yeah, it's the saying he's right at night. It's probably a little off. There we go. Seven knots. All right. And we are shooting tubes one and four at this one. Open tubes one and four. All right. I kind of want to wait till he just passes zero, so that way we have a better shot at our other friend over here. It's probably going to be right at 90 when we fire. All right, yeah, tubes one and four. Fire. Why aren't you firing? There we go. <laughs> Classic. All right, tubes one and four away. All right, next target. Oh, man. I promise he's so far away. We'll just have to uh, lay in wait here, really, until he's just at a better angle. Oh no, are we going to miss this guy? Well, in that case, since we're going to miss our first target, man, why did I... It must be going faster. AOB seems spot on, honestly. Man, I can't believe I missed. I'm having terrible luck with my torpedoes this patrol, it seems. Alright, well, we're going to get this sucker. Fire. Alright. Those should hit. Oh, yeah, those are definitely going to hit. Huh. It looks like I, I keep underestimating speed. Well, that's okay. She's going to get... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Two hits. She's done for. Alright, and that's all of our torpedoes. We need to turn tail. Hey, well, at least we got one. That's very disappointing, though. Well, anyways. Alright, well, in any case, we're going to go ahead and turn out of here and hope that they do not see us or detect us. So we're going to go ahead and dive down now to about 80 meters and uh, just get the heck out of Dodge. Alright, and we'll run away. So with that out of the way, since we have expended pretty much all of our torpedoes, let's go ahead and clear this map up. Perfect. We'll go ahead and head to a port, and we're going to head down here. Mostly because that just seems... It's on the way. I could go here to Talia, but I think uh, going down here and then proceeding down south towards Freetown would be uh, the better option. And we're going to have to go deep, down to 120 meters. Alright, and now the fun part begins. I think we're going to be okay, but I will go ahead and cut the episode, or cut the video, I should say, here, and uh, get back to you guys whenever his depth charges start landing fairly close, but I have a feeling we'll get away kind of scot-free here. We'll see, though. Alright, welcome back, everybody. We are currently going towards the Canary Islands, but I do have a little bit of a dilemma, I guess we could say, and it's mostly game-related, so... Uh, Y'all can let me know what you think I should do. 
Now, unfortunately, due to the limitations of Silent Hunter 3, docking at a resupply ship like this uh, resets your patrol like I previously said. However, one thing I did not realize was that if your boat is damaged, uh, and there's no way really around this, you will stay at the port one day for every percent of uh, a whole damage you have. So I actually already docked and I realized my I would end up leaving in late December, which is not what I want to do whatsoever. So I'm thinking I might just reload these six torpedoes in the middle of the night. We'll go down to our patrol area, DT-79 or whatever the heck it is, piddle paddle around there, expend our torpedoes, and then head back home instead of resupplying at this resupply ship. Mostly because staying at a resupply ship for over a month is kind of ridiculous. Um, or almost a month, I guess. Um, I really don't like that. Uh, and I didn't really realize it worked that way. Now, I know the milk cows uh, U-boats that start appearing in late 1942 and such are different. Um, hard co the hard-coded fixes change that. So. Um, I think I'm actually just going to continue sailing towards our patrol objective. We'll sail through the Can uh, Canary Islands here, but I don't think I'm actually going to resupply. Mostly because that's just too... That's too ridiculous, I must say. <laughs> so we're just going to head down this way. Unfortunately, you can't change that with Silent Hunter 3 Commander or anything either, so... And with our scrapes with those airplanes, my whole integrity is relatively low, so... I think we're just going to head on south, reload these torpedoes in the safety of the harbor. I think that's a good idea. Or around out here. And then we'll just continue onward towards our uh, actual grid objective. Uh, but docking and being pushed out a month, that's just too immersion breaking. Um, it doesn't flow well. And also, I kind of want to be at sea during the uh, Pearl Harbor attack. I want to see all the radio messages come in and stuff. I think that might that is interesting. So, yeah, things like that are things I want to see, and that would make it impossible to see. So, I think I have decided to stay at sea. We'll just refuel or resupply. I mean, reload our torpedoes over here and uh, continue onward. So, uh, that's the current plan. Unfortunately, that only leaves us with th six torpedoes and uh, 85 deck gun shells. But that should be sufficient for continuing the patrol. And, uh, well, especially just patrolling down here. We'll go down to South Africa, it looks like, another time. Uh, maybe if we still have our six torpedoes after patrolling here, we'll go down to Freetown. That could be a lot of fun. But, uh, yep, that's my current plan, I think. I don't think I'm going to resupply. I'm just going to continue onward, mostly because the game's a little jank. But once the milk cows start appearing, uh, it's a lot easier and a lot more streamlined. You just press escape and then go back and you have all of your... They reload like uh, a quarter of your torpedoes back and uh, refill you. So I like that a lot better with the hard-coded fixes. So if any of you know of a fix for these ships, that would definitely help out a lot. But until then, uh, I think I'm just going to kind of avoid them. All right, well, with all of that out of the way, we're going to continue onward. I'm going to probably cut the episode here, mostly because, uh, well, we've been sailing a while, and this has been a uh, fairly long episode, I think. So uh, I'll go ahead and cut here. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off.